This is Brian from Faded Shadows, or Logic Pro Hacks. Welcome. Well, today is another Quickie Monday, and we all like to have a nice little Quickie to lighten up the mood. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Anyhow, so, one of the things I like to do at Logic Pro Hacks is I like to look at other people's stuff, and also I like to read a lot of comments about what people are saying about other people's stuff. And so it, it kind of gave me an idea. And one, one of the ideas that, that struck me was this person asks a question on this other user. <clears throat> SF Logic Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, okay, uh, he's asking this question, and but this question's like a year old. And it was never answered. I'm like, dude, this, this question is so easy. Anybody could do this. Well, not necessarily. I mean, what, what it is, is, is probably in Logic 9, it was a little bit harder to do. But in Logic X, it's a lot easier with track summing. And let me first, let me read you off the question. Here it goes. Dude, you're like Yoda. I just started viewing your tutorials, and they are amazing. Mind if I ask a question? I have a software instrument, track, which is, say, a synth, the NI Massive, how do I make another track that will act as a MIDI controller for that one so I can write MIDI so I can write many MIDI layers of the same software instrument? Could this be done with an external MIDI tracks or something? I am new to Logic, so I'm going to through your tutorials, but I just wondered if one of your tutorials covers that sort of thing. Amazing. Again, thanks. If I read that right. And I was thinking, I was like, wow, that's a good question. So how do you do that? Really easy. I'll show you. So what you do is there's this thing here called summing tracks. First, you know, you, you want to create your instruments. And so like my first instrument, I'm going to create the retro synth because I just think it's so retro and so cool. So I'll pick that guy, just leave it as default. And then the other one. We're going to create another instrument. And this one, it's going to be a retro synth again. Stereo. But this time, we're going to change it to synth lead and then cheerful me melody. Just because I feel very cheerful today. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got a dry sense of humor. All right. So then, what you want to do next is you need to get a MIDI file going. But we can do that later. Just take these two instruments. You can get, you can pick as many instruments as you want. You know, matter of fact, let's go ahead and do a third one. You go ahead and just click this uh, plus mark right here and do another software instrument. Create. Now this time, let's go ahead and use an ES2. Yeah, going a little bit dangerous now. So then we'll just go ahead and just pick uh, synth leads and just pick anything in there. It doesn't have to, you know, whatever your preference. Um, pluck touch. That sounds kind of interesting. I wonder what that sounds like. Oh boy, that's loud. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and take that down. Okay. All right, it sounds kind of weird. All right, we'll just go ahead and use it. All right, so now we got all these instruments, and then we're gonna need to make a MIDI file. So just go ahead and you know, just either record in your MIDI file, or whatever you want to do. What I usually do, I just do create empty MIDI region, and then I just go in here and just hit the uh, command key and I just make some notes. You know, do, 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 you know, whatever, and then you just, you know, mix them all up until you finally get something that sounds kind of cool, and, and this is what mine sounded like after I did that, and I brought it in. And now you're saying, well, it's only going to affect one instrument. Right. Very right. So what we're going to do is we've got to do this. We've got to highlight all the tracks, and then right-click on it, or control-click, See, you're talking to a guy who first started on PC and then went to Mac just because I like music. You know, music pulled me into the Macs. Yeah, anyways, we're going on here. Rabbit trail. And then right-click, and then you do Create Stack Track. Track Stack. 
and then pick summing stack. Don't pick the folder stack because it won't work too well for you. You can read details if you're really bored. Uh, I just ignore it. And then hit create. Boom. Done. Now take that MIDI file that you created earlier and move it all the way up to the top where it says sum2. And we can even rename it to something cool like, you know, my rad sense. There we go. Dot dot. Alright, and then go ahead and just turn all these guys down. And check this out. Watch this. Oh yeah, we're grooving. Yeah, buddy. And you can notice that how the volume now you turn that off, you notice how like when I adjust one volume on one, it affects the, the mix it's kind of like having your, your own little sub mix but one MIDI file being controlled which is controlling the sound of all three instruments isn't that cool all right that is my my answer to your question and uh, I hope you enjoy it and uh, please subscribe and like um, and welcome to quickie Monday every Monday I'm doing a very quickie tutorial just because I like to have a nice little quickie to brighten up the mood enjoy <laughs>